What? Well, uh, uh, hey, Jim. What's that going on? You say these, uh, these criminals, uh, killers, they, they, they what? Coming across the border? What you talking about, Jim? You been in the drinking again? I mean, not serious. I sound serious. I mean, I got my less lethals here. I'm good. I got the TCP. It's ready. It's ready, man. That's all I need. Uh, I don't know, man. You sound like you're a little bit out of it today. <laughs> well, you take care of there now. All right. Hi everybody, welcome back for another video. Let's hope that you don't get that bad phone call one day. Your friend calls you up or you, you see it on the news. Either way, there is bad news out there and I am concerned about it. I have to admit, I, I talk a lot and I've done recent videos where everything is in the context of an idealized community, a civilized society, where everybody and everything, follow, for the most part, follows the law, follows the rules. There are norms and standards that people abide by. In that particular case, I, I, I firmly believe that having the ability to use a less lethal option and less lethal defense is a real, it's a luxury. I think of it as a luxury. It affords you not to have to go to the extreme. You have other options that you can use. Uh, we, in, in many of many countries, in, in most countries, you do have that luxury and, and the crime rates are low enough that is not an issue. I mean, crime, violent crime happens everywhere. Um, and the problem we're having though in the, in the world is that people are coming in from countries where it is uncivilized and they're coming into civilized countries and they're bringing the violence and they're bringing that behavior with them. And in that particular case, when I have to use my less lethal and I go with something like my TCP, uh, I'm, I'm all set, right? Well, not exactly. I, this works when, when, when your attacker is a civilized person who, who will respond to the pain or respond to the threat of being harmed from this. They see this as a, as, as a, as a tool that will stop them. And, and that is who, who our target is with less lethal. And in, in the United States where I'm at, the majority of the situations, th this is enough. If you've got this tuned up and you've got it in good shape and you, you charge it and you're ready to go, right now it's not charged. Uh, and of course it will not fire because there's no air in the, in the, in the gun. Um, but you have to think about what happens uh, in a situation, one where, where your, your, your city or your local area has now flipped. It has become invaded by people who are uncivilized and who are not following the laws and who are violent, who will attack you getting out of your car in your driveway, people who will attack you in your home and they don't care because they have no other options. They may not know any, any other way um, there are certainly places in the, in the world, uh, South Africa is one of them, where people live in bunkers and they live behind fences and they go through great lengths and they don't even have the option for anything other than things like less lethals. And you can see how that's working out. Any of, any of those, anybody out there who's from South Africa, I know I have some folks, uh, I hear from them a lot. Uh, they, they are at their wits end with options, running out of options. Uh, here in the United States, we have borders that are being breached by people just flooding over and there is no will to stop it, no political will. And, and I don't even want to get, go any further than that. I just want to say that it's happening. It's a threat. We have to be serious about it. We have to think about uh, outside of our bubble. Uh, I talk about less lethal defense a lot and, and how good it is as a tool, but that is also in the context of a very civil society where there are laws and people abide by the laws and the laws are enforced. As soon as the laws are not enforced and the first law that's really important is, is a sovereign border. As soon as you let people come into your country whose first act of coming in your country is breaking your law, uh, that's a problem. 
Um, but then you've got to deal with the consequences of the crime. And uh, it's very conflicting. You look at the news one day, you'll see one thing. Look at the news another day, you'll see another headline. The bottom line is in grocery stores and drug stores, uh, they, they have to lock up everything now. Everything is behind lock and key uh, in big cities, in areas where there's high crime. And that was not the case before. Now you tell me that crime is, is not up. Um, there are violent acts committed by people. The statistics just released this week uh, are shocking. Over 13,000 uh, convicted killers come into our country, and this is from ICE. So ICE is reporting this. These are facts and data that is out there. Everyone can see. Um, we have to prepare for every situation. So we can't just live in a dream world thinking that less lethal is the way to go only and I can take care of every, every need with this. Uh, so you have to have plan B and plan B can be whatever it is, whether you're gonna go with an air gun that's a higher power, uh, HPA air rifles, things like that. There are a lot of options out there. Uh, just make sure that when you do it and you try to go from something like this to something more powerful, that you're not, you're not being unrealistic and you're not doing something that's just gonna make this not work anymore because these things work under given conditions, but they got their limits. There are other rifles out there and other things that you can use if you want to stick with air power that you can use that are mighty powerful. And, and they have definitely have a place and you need uh, an option like that for home defense. Um, so just, just keep in mind, there, there are two, two parallel tracks. There are the civilized society and uncivilized society. And sometimes they mix. Sometimes it could be from a, from a storm. We just had a hurricane roll through here. I was without power for over 24 hours. Um, even 24 hours without power is, is something that we have a hard time with these days. No power, then another 24 hours without internet. So I was really completely out of the loop. I was having to use my phone. My phone was mostly showing SOS, very poor cell signal. Uh, so I would get intermittent cell signal. I would be able to get on, on and check emails and do a few things for a few minutes, and then it's gone again. So I, didn't, I don't have a power generator here. I, it's really something that I, I need to do. There, there's a lot of things that we need to do to sort of fortify ourselves and, and our family and our home. Uh, but you need to be aware that in those situations, when there's a blackout, uh, that whole community, anyone from outside the community can see that that area is in a blackout. It's publicly available information. I don't know if it should be publicly available. I think maybe you should have to log in as a person who lives in that area in order to see that because someone from outside the area can come in knowing that everyone is just a sitting duck in their home with no power. Uh, and we have battery backups in our security systems, but those batteries only last so long. So, um, uh, of course, it's who's, who's stupid enough to try to break into a home when you know the people are at home and it's pitch dark and they know the insides of their home better than you, than you know. So uh, certainly these criminals are not smart, though. And, and I think that you just have to be aware that when uh, it's an SHTF situation or, um, or a cases where there's literally invasions in our country, uh, like we've seen in other countries recently, and where they come and they're armed or they come and they they intend, intend to cause harm, we have to be ready for every option. And don't be like me at the beginning of the video and be oblivious, be aware, be prepared for this. Um, that's my message for today. Uh, just trying to recalibrate our thinking back to the middle. Uh, let's don't get too far to the less lethal only side and too far to the lethal only side. Let's try to stay in the middle so that we're flexible. We can go either way. All right, everybody take care. Be safe. See you next time.